welcome again guys uh, to another painting tutorial from Rupstem, aka me. Um, as you can see a raid before you is three plastic figures that I have painted silver. Um, these have been done with I think it's methyl silver or one of those, maybe I don't know it's lead belcher, that's it. Lead belcher silver spray and I'm going to be basically using contrast paint over a silver base and the first model we're actually going to be looking at I'll put them two to the side I'm going to use this lad here that's going to be Blood Angels so I'm going to try and make this guy using a silver base into a Blood Angel Space Marine using contrast paints now I'm still going to have the silver parts so I'm not going to go over anything oh I don't know maybe the grey might actually work over the hmm. um, Yep, brain going into overload. I've got me my grey seer. Um, if I want to start putting some other stuff on, but I might use a, a metallic colour just to see, just to make sure that I keep it constant. Uh, there will be overlapping colours, but we're going to need to uh, have all my colour at the moment. If anyone wants to believe this, it's an old school bolt gun metal, and I've still got some in that. <laughs> so I've been using that as my silver. Right. I'm going to start, of course, we're going to give it an all over coat with the Blood Angel Red. So with this being the initial base coat, we're going to get a decent thickish brush and we're just going to apply the contrast paint where the arm should be. I'm not being neat, but being messy. Apply it on thickly. Well, not too thick. Sometimes, in my personal opinion with these contrast paints, you do actually need to have two coats. I know that's going against the ethos that games are actually put out there, but I actually think it works better if you do that. And I know we want you to lather it on, but I always think you get tide marks when you put it on too thick. Personal opinion, though. No need to go repeating it. I must say, it's looking quite dapper, actually. Uh, quite liking that. Doing the usuals. I'm not paying attention to where it's going. I'll tidy up. I'll do the usual and I'll tidy up later. I'm actually doing this at night, so the quality of the lighting is not the greatest. I'm just going to get a bit of pulling in there later from that. I must say, I'm working that already. I'm trying to get rid of some of the excess. Make sure that it doesn't pull too much in a particular section or area. And uh, it does remind me actually of this red of using this. If you ever come across the um, X27 clear red, from Tamiya, which is an alcohol based paint. God does it stink, but it kind of creates a very similar colour. Right, let's let that dry. Okay, so the red has dried and doesn't look too bad. Um, it's not, well, kind of has. 
I don't know whether or not I want to just leave it at that. Maybe the flesh tearer one would work better. I was going to coat it in Caraberg Crimson. But I might finish the model off first and then see what I need to do. Maybe test it on something else. Maybe test it on something else first. Alright guys, I did actually, if I'm actually being honest with myself, I did actually state that I wasn't going to um, go over things twice. Uh, when I started recording this, so this is the first video for it in recording the series. Although, if anyone remembers the white um, metallic colour that I did uh, from Green Stuff World, that is what the red looks like over that white, and it's actually quite bright. It's quite, it comes out quite well. Uh, that might be the way forward. That might be the way to do it is to probably undercoat it and then hit it with the white. Um, metallic white from Green Stuff World and then maybe hit it with a Games Workshop contrast but these paints are new and we're experimenting we're finding out what's happening right this black is going to now be needed for the gun I am going to use grey here I know I said I was going to keep it fully silver but I'm going to use that black on the weapon and then I might tidy it up once I've used the black and then I'm going to use the I've heard that using the grey, which I've got the Griff Charged uh, Griff charged Grey, I'm going to use that on the weapon end. So they're going to be done on the actual weapons. I'm going to paint the weapon in black to see if that makes it any better, because of course black, as we know, is the weakest colour. So I've tried to be quite careful with that black. Um, it might look all right, actually. I just realized I actually do need to put black into the, uh, the recess. I'm gonna use a smaller brush for that. And then I'm gonna tidy up that silver and we're gonna hit it, like I said, with Griff Charger Gray. So we'll come back into it with me painting the Griff Charger Gray. <laughs> So that black and that grey is done. It looks a bit like a, a light version of Known Oil that I've not had to highlight. It, for painting quick, I would say you could actually paint up a squad of these with this, with this particular method quite quickly. Um, I think I'm wrong with little mistakes and that, but from a distance it's fine. I'm going to hit the eagles. Normally I paint them yellow. I don't know, I'm an old schooler. When it comes to that, so I've got some Naz, uh, contrast Nasgrig yellow. We're going to try that over the silver as well. We're going to see what that looks like. So that, I'm hoping that looks alright. So that's come out actually looking quite decent, um, if I do say so myself. I'm now going to paint the other stuff that was using the standard method. So is Little bits at the back and the purity seal are going to be painted the old traditional, well I'm saying the old traditional way, what I might do actually is paint that white and I might hit it. Hmm. Thinking, thinking. So, I've painted the purity seal. Uh, I've done the purple with just a bit of a wash. That's not really important. Next bit is. That white I'm going to hit with the Dracoraf Flesh, I'm hoping I'm saying these right. Workshop, stop using really long complicated words, just call it flesh wash, will you? Doesn't look too bad. 
Not the greatest. Not the worst. It's still a little bit drying. Eyes have been painted with grey sear. I'm now going to hit them with a small amount of hot flesh. Uh, just to give it the green eyes. So that's kind of like the finished figure. The base needs redoing because I need to have another layer of black across the base. And of course you'd need some uh, variant, well, some transfers on there. But it's not too bad. The green eyes look green. The bolt has got a black hint to it. The, uh, yeah. That's possible. It's not the greatest paint job in the world, but it will do if you stick it on the tabletop. Well, thanks very much for watching, guys. Please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification button if you want to see more. So for the camera shake, I'm actually going to have more uh, of these, a couple more coming out. There's going to be a Crimson Fist one with the blue, and there's going to be a Black Legion one with the black, of course. And uh, I'm going to want to explore that a bit more. That white metallic colour with the red actually looks pretty good. No, it looks better than what that does. Something for the characters, maybe. Anyway, thanks very much for watching, guys. If you want to try and support the channel, if you go over to rootstem.co.uk, hit the donate button. You can give as little or as much as you want. That'll keep me in business. And uh, yeah, and the usual the YouTube stuff. Well, thank you very much, guys. See you next time.